Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, it's Charlie versus Nino for winner's okay, final. Yeah. Charlie's usually, uh, he's usually a wolf on this game track. I mean, he's a wolf main, but he's trying to pull out Sheik Oh, okay, yeah, because that's what I remember him for. Um, uh, we, in Smash 4, he's playing Sheik, right? Uh, uh, Sheik no, and Fox. Fox, right? Fox, Fox but like, he also had a Sheik. Yeah, yeah, okay. So, I mean, the thing about Charlie is that he loves playing Sheik, but he hates that Sheik is bad. Okay. Or at least the fact that Sheik is mid-tier, you know? Like, why play in mid-tier when you're, at, when you're, when you're top tier, top when you're a top player, main, yeah. you know, you gotta pick the top tier if you want to continue winning. And so that's why you see him pick the wolf, you know? No, I hear it. And here we go in the game one. No, they're just going right into it. I always wondered, um, a lot of Sheiks uh, like the... Uh, when it comes to Wolf, correct? Like they, a lot of Smash 4 Sheiks switch to Wolf. I was, we used to play uh, uh, Sheik and Smash 4, right? Yeah, what made you feel comfortable picking Wolf in this game? And I always wondered that. Like if a lot of the Sheik, well, I always wonder if a lot of the Sheik mains, uh, they always switch, they switch to Wolf in this game. I was just wondering what made you guys like, feel more comfortable in that. There wasn't? Okay, yeah, uh, okay. So what made you like just kind of feel comfortable with this character? It was just a... <laughs> yeah, right? It's just fundamental. Okay, yeah, I like that. So the base... No, yeah, yeah. yeah. Outspace people, just solid hits. I like it. So what K9 was saying basically off stream is that no, a lot of Sheiks like, like to play Wolf just because Wolf has a solid neutral game too, you know, solid combos. And you know, it really has the kill power that Sheik lacks. So. Yet again, it feels like the natural yeah. flow, the neutral, the flow, how you combo is very similar to Smash 4 Sheik. I was going to say, is it, yeah, oh, that was a really good turnaround, but um, I was going to say, um, it seems like Ken feels kind of, his combos like, are meteor on these characters because he's so heavy, right? Like, they stay in his zone. I mean, not even that, it's just that, like, Wolf likes to, you know, like, approach with, like, fair on shield or, like, dash attack. You know, if you do that against the Shotos, then you have to worry about the up B out of shield and the anti-air up B out of shield. Okay. Yeah, I see. I need to I need watch more. Is it Nita or Nido? Nito. Nito. I like that. So, yeah, I need to... Ooh, okay. I love the call out with the up B to, you know, break through the focus, you but... You know, you gotta wonder, like, Charlie really needs to find his stock soon because yeah, so all it takes is one being, Shoryu. Yeah, I was about to say. Is it Jab Jab uh, Shoryu? That's a connection, right? I mean, usually, I mean, with with Ryu, that's definitely a thing. Uh, Ken's usually like to go for Roundhouse. Oh, uh, okay, Roundhouse and Roundhouse. Or, 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 or Shoryu, it really depends on the stage yeah. positioning. Okay, okay. Kind of like, if they're at super high percents, then uh, Jab Jab Roundhouse is better because it just connects easier. How's uh, Nito's uh, Terry looking? Has he ever taken it out in bracket before? He's taken it out of bracket, but like usually like early parts of bracket. Oh, okay. So it's still a work in progress. Still yeah. Here we go, game two. I wonder, Nito, did he ever play any like other FGCs? Or? Uh, I am not sure. I'm yeah. pretty sure most, most people that play Smash only play Smash. No, I hear it. Like, I feel like the one exception to that rule is left in. <laughs> no, right. I don't really see a high level 10 in action. They just stack damage like. Look at that, 77 right there. 94. Yeah. I mean, you can see Charlie just trying to find his way in, find but you know, Nito's just throwing out this insane neutral that, like, you know, every oh. time Charlie wants to get in, he just gets punished. Right? It's just not, it's just, uh, it's really outspacing them at this point. I mean, it's, these dashbacks are just, okay, there we go. See, Charlie's in now. You can see Charlie trying to go for the ledge trap, gets the grab and the up throw. Triangle. I hope this is good. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it was trying to bait out the down B again, uh -huh. but, you know, I didn't really find it that time. Like, Nito got hit by that one to be like, okay, I saw that trick. You know, I now, like, not to do that again. Oh, that one. Yeah. Just trying to see what his approach is going to be without... Oh. Yeah. You see Charlie, you know, just trying to roll around Ken, but you know what? Just can't you find it. And then you never want to... See, because once you overcommit against the... 
Uh, what, what do they call the shadows? Yeah. Once you overcommit against them, I mean, at this point, it just becomes like, you just eat up at least 20%. There's the no tech, but you know what? You could have gotten a jab block off of it with a jab, but you know what? Going for the raw of B means around. that, like, if you just check the place, you can get it. And you know what? That was unfortunate right there. I feel like you could have made that. I'm not really sure. Someone was just slightly off. Oh, oh no. Yeah, Charlie's side. Yeah. You can tell that, like, when you're back into a corner like that, you're being dominated. Like, that was a two-stock lead at that yeah. point. You know, Charlie's got to wonder, like, okay, Wolf, clearly not the answer here. Yeah, and it's good to just kind of throw it away real quick just so you could, like, kind of slow down some momentum right. in a sense, you know. Like, if, if they already feel like they're going to lose it, right. might as well. You know what? I'm going to pick up. Right. You think Charlie's going for a change? I mean, I don't see him as staying and not staying Wolf. Yeah. <laughs> right. That's saying well. So definitely, I see the Sheik. I see any other character. Oh, I see a Mario. Yeah. He has a Mario. I mean, yet again, his Mario is like fundamentals. Like, he okay, fundamentally yeah, yeah, knows yeah. Mario, but, you know, I feel like it's not like Master Mario Mario. No, I hear it. And it's just, is, is it, I don't know, what, is it a good matchup? In this I sense? definitely think he didn't want to go Sheik just because Sheik is super light and dies super early and just right. doesn't get the same conversions. Like, if his wolf wasn't cutting it, like, his Sheik was just going to die earlier. You know? mm -hmm. And uh, Mario is really good at keeping you in the air, and at this, I mean, you know, Ken's just amazing on the floor, so at this point you kind of want to. I feel like, you know, it. with Mario, he can kind of contest a little bit more, have a little bit more solid of a combo game, and you know, I have aerials that are basically safer on shield, and you know what? It seems to be working out a lot better this time around, because you know, and like, a, yeah, like in the juggle game itself, I mean, look at that. He's just going to use down air when it comes to the down move, which is perfect, and. I mean, because their comfort zone is just to be on the floor, throwing out all these tilts, just kind of... I'm talking about camp players, obviously, in general, but... Uh, it's I mean, gonna, I it, mean you do, you got some of uh, the stanky leg the up there. Just oh, into, yeah. yeah. But definitely, like, we're seeing a, a totally different play style from Charlie, you know? Oh, we're yeah. seeing the more, like, okay, I can space out my aerials and, like, not have to be like right next to Ken and hear an up B out of shield or a down tilt up out of shield. I, I love his Mario. It's, it's very just like, let me get the hits I need and that's it. Like, yeah. and then from there out, he doesn't go for you know, wild card like crazy move. Like, a, right. It's not I mean, like Master Mario where like, yeah, he's just he, like, where did that come from? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Master Mario is just like, I hit you once. I have one neutral and therefore I'm going to try to kill you. No. Exactly. Charlie's just like, okay, I got my guaranteed damage. That's good enough. Let me reset neutral and just continue solidly winning neutral. Oh, oh, yeah. it's, a, it's, a, it's a unique, it's a unique Mario. That, that's for sure. I really like seeing it right now. You know, just nice, great fireballs. Just let me see your reaction to my fireballs. Let me just. Yeah. And we see like the aerial mobility from Mario to able to like hit his shield and then just completely move out of the way to avoid any of the punish yeah. that Ken could possibly you can tell have. He's feeling because, I mean, that was just another dash back uh, forward smash again from Charlie. I mean, he seems to, I'm trying to see, I mean, he seems to already figure, like, like he's already seeing his landing approaches. If he sees the down B, he's just going for the down air. Right, and so that's yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> that was solid three. Yeah, solid I mean, definitely right there. The, the Mario pick was the right answer because like it, was, it was pretty much the opposite of what it was with Wolf. You know, Wolf, like, he tried pressuring the shield and he just kept getting punished for it. And with Mario, it was just like, okay, now I have actual arrows that can, yeah, like, I punish mean, shield and, like, cross them up without, like, having to worry about, you know, getting cross worried about the down tilt, like, automatically turning around. He was, and then he was just keeping uh, Nito, like, you know, in the air at a certain point where... I, again, it was a 50-50. If you saw the down B, he was going for the down air. Just get the multi-hits. If it was the other one, he was he got a ladder on him. It was just yeah. catch 22 at this point. I mean, let's see if Nito could adapt. I mean, definitely, this is where we see a lot of Mario's. You know, they don't like to, like, rush in. They like to, like, slowly, like, throw out aerials, like, in the space where you want to be, you know, with that down air, out of shield, or that back air. Be like, okay, this might hit your shield, but it'll either barely hit your shield and be safe, or it'll hit your jump out of shield, or your approach option. And then that's Mario's what really Mario loves so to do. Right now. Yeah. I, he still hasn't even landed in it. Okay, there we go. I mean, we're basically seeing a complete reversal of what happened, like, game one and two. Yeah, now it looks like it's uh, Charlie that's, like, nitpicking the hits. He's punishing every reaction. Okay. There we go. Benito still keeping it strong. No. And, I mean, the damage output at this point, too, you're just going to be able to... Uh, there we go. Yeah, yeah, see, they usually love roundhouse at the ledge mm -hmm. just because it's, it's a lot more reliable. It kills. Catches jumps. Yeah, so, yeah it's, it's very... There it is. 
he's just so, now he's just feeling comfortable. Now he's just riding the whole momentum that he just got. From. You can just keep see look see the down B. You saw his down B, the down air. It's just a, it's a nice way to catch. The, the focus, right? Yeah, the focus, and it's just making him now just question uh, which used to just be a safe option against, uh, I would say, his Wolf, per se. Right. Yeah, what Wolf gets to do is up the. Oh, oh, that was no. a nice call. He yeah. was seeing he was jumping off ledge constantly. And there it is. Uh, and I mean, that was an amazing call out with that down air. Yeah. Uh, oh, and that's just 47% off the start. Right. I mean, you hate to see stocks go like that, but you know what? I, I feel like Charlie, if he plays like his solid neutral, he, he can definitely bring this back. I mean, you know? he even has a you know charged flood. Maybe you see some little tr uh, tricky little cheese, hopefully going on. I mean, you never know. It's a, tomorrow. I mean, I'm hoping for uh, you know close match at the end. We could even take a minute to uh, tomorrow. Oh, okay. We're okay. seeing all these up air combos. Up air, up air, up air. Oh, and see it right there. Yeah, the focus breaking it out, up. but you know what? It's still damage, good. and you know what? You didn't get punished for it, so. Oh, but there's the anti air oh, up B. Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. And Nito will take it 3 1. I did it! We will see Nito on winner's side of grand finals. And now, looks like we got AEM coming up to the stream versus. Who would it be against? It wouldn't be against K9, would it? 